Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Boss Time on Let's Play Bravely Default against Rusaka, the Purveyor of Doom. What is that thing? Uh, just a water spout or something? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But I do know that in the first round, I want everyone to default here. Now, yeah, as you can see, Rutalka can inflict the charm status on you. That's why I've got the rebuff locket equipped on Anya there. Now, let's see. That move, actually, I'm kind of fortunate that hit ring a bell. Yeah, that debuffs your defense in addition to a little damage, but I'm not extraordinarily concerned about that. What I am concerned about are is what I want Anya to do. So, I want to get slow on Rutalka, not because I actually care about Rutalka's speed, but, well, you'll see in just a moment. Let's see, let's get haste going on Tiz, and then let's get Lux to give everyone... I mean, it does boost all our stats, but I'm mostly using it to boost my water resistance, and that is imperative coming up here. Okay, so let's see. Let's have you two just default for now, then. Okay, we're good, we're good. But yeah, if you don't have Lux yet, this fight is going to be considerably harder for you. It's still very doable, I've done it before, but you really want to have the water resistance. That's why I've also got a beach water and an ice charm equipped on a couple of my party members there. Okay, so there's nothing I really care to steal, so I want to go with Examine and a Godspeed Strike there. And then, let's see, with Anya's... Yeah, let's just do a little bit of healing there. Get that going on ring -a -Bell. With ring -a -Bell, let's have him just use Thundara's sword, but that's it. And then with the Dia, let's go with a couple Chigan waves there. Only two of them, though. I want to save the rest of her BP for later. Now, you notice Tiz, his speed actually went over 150%, which is usually the normal cap for buffs on a particular stat. But because I used Lux for that, or a special move, it exceeds the normal limit for buffs. So that's pretty nice. Okay, so let's see. We got Thundara Sword. Now I actually want uh, Ring -a Bell to use Ironclad to boost his physical defense up to 150% for the round because of that. Yeah, that'll really hurt you if you don't have a buff to help you out there. Okay, so let's see. With Agnes, let's get Double Cura going on everyone. That should suffice. Let's see, with Ring a Bell, let's go with Air Splitter on these guys. And the thing is that they can all attack you, but only one of them is the original real uh, Rusaka there. But you can tell because I got slow on one of them. So that's one of the reasons why I did that, so I could tell which one of them is the real one. We've got Air Splitter to hit all of them. And let's get Double Crescent Moon going here to take care of all the clones who have much less HP than the real Rusalka does. Don't fall for me now. Now hopefully Tiz's speed or haste still holds up after this round. If it doesn't, well we won't be in real trouble, but it would be annoying me. I forget exactly how long that would last, otherwise, let's see, yep, speed wore off, no, oh well, I can still get in two god speed strikes, and that'll be more than enough, and then if I get a whole bunch of stomps in there, that'll work, and let's see, I don't even need special noobs to finish this guy off, let's just go with whatever we've got there. Probably won't even need both God Speed Strikes. Alright, got him. What, no job class level ups? I'm disappointed, game. Oh well. Good. We're ready to begin the right. All set on yet? <laughs> Are you okay? Hmm. 
I'll go over the process for the ritual once more, just to be sure. To awaken it, you must set your own life force to resonate with the crystal's natural rhythm. With the praying or the button mashing, whatever we're doing. Focus your prayers on the crystal and don't stop, Agnes. If it works as it should, we'll soon see dramatic results. I know I said it before, but be sure you don't stop before it's done. Right, right. Keep praying until I give the signal to stop, no matter what. The flow of the crystal's energy could reverse and explode out of control. That's... Is all of that clear, Agnes? I understand. You needn't repeat yourself. Agnes. Uh, hmm? If it does go berserk, do we get a second chance at the ritual? Oh. No second chances, which is why it's so important you all stay out. Oh, right, right. All right, Agnes. Let's begin. Right. But you might have noticed there, uh, with Rusaka there, it always follows uh, somewhat of a fixed AI script there. The first three turns, it can do whatever it wants. But then the fourth turn, you noticed it seeped into the ground there. And then on the fifth turn, it exploded and dealt massive damage to us. I'm not exactly sure how the damage of that attack works. I mean, I know it's water elemental, obviously. More. Keep going. But yeah, sometimes it seems like a physical attack, or sometimes it feels like it just deals fixed damage no matter what I do. So yeah, it's kind of weird. Still not enough. You can do this. But yeah, that fight is a lot harder if you don't have Lux to boost your water resistance on everyone. Stop! That's it! I wonder what happens if I keep going. Oh, okay. Yeah, at that point, I couldn't hit X anymore. Yes! It's done! The water crystal is awakened! You did amazing, Anya! Hey, all right. Yeah, so the game let me hit X for a little while to try to just keep on going. And But yeah, after that second time there... I was bashing X, but nothing was happening. So, yeah, the game forces you to stop there. Thank goodness. Oh, yes. Are you all right? She's completely exhausted. Well, yeah. I'm fine. No cause for worry. That makes two crystals. We're halfway there. Now, hopefully the oceans are looking better now. <laughs> oh, yes. You need to rest. You've been pushing yourself this whole time. I told you. I, I'm fine. Please, spare me your concern. I have to do this. I have to do it alone. Well, you've got us. But, all right, yeah, more support skills. Awesome. Lady Matriarch, the sea, its waters are clearing. Oh, did some of the crystalists come back? of the Vestal. Praise be to her. Hey! I guess the Chrysalis escaped. But, alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we got more tutorial quests coming up here, so let's see what we got. Let's see. Detailed stat info. Okay, we can do that one. Chain special moves. That's also partially why I didn't use all my special moves in the boss fight there. Because I need a couple of them in order to do that tutorial quest. And that one I can do right now too. So let's see what we got. Okay, so if we go into the equip menu. And I think I have to hit touch physical defense on the bottom screen there. At least I think that's what it wanted me to do. Okay, so we do that. And then let's see. My spells... I forget how I'm, I uh, rearrange them. I think I hit the Y button. There we go. Yeah, so it can organize them by like healing and then support skills and then damage skills or whatever. But I just like leaving them in the order of their levels there. Okay, so let's see how that worked. Haha! -ha! All right. And let's see. I think for... With all these ones, I have to be in battle there. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. So, we'll hit that up on the way back. Oh, I should probably change my characters around. Let's see, for Tiz, yeah, let's definitely make him back into a freelancer there. And since we're, we're going to be going back through the... What was that? Through the... What was that? The Miasma Woods there? Since we're going to go back there, let's have Dungeon Master. I don't have a specific setup in mind for what I want to do here. Because the enemies are more than easy enough at this point. So I wouldn't really worry about that. But yeah, we could use a little more speed. Why not? Okay, so Adia, I'm going to leave her in her job class. And, yeah, I think I'll just leave everyone except Tiz there. Let's see, with Agnes, though, let's see, I think we get level 4 white magic at level 9, if I recall correctly. So that's my next main goal there, because white magic level 4 is going to be more useful than black magic level 4. Or time, well, yeah, or time magic level 4. I forget what the level 4 ones are for time magic. But, okay, so we got that. Let's start heading on back then. Oh, I should change my uh, equipment a little bit, at least. Yeah, let's let's see what we got here. Let's see, I definitely need the... Where are they? The Hermes sandals for Tiz there. And, yeah, I'll just leave him on the Nodachi because I want to maintain that special move there. Let's see, for Agnes there, didn't I get... Let's see. Yeah, that'll help out your uh, magical damage, so that's pretty nice. So you got power bracers, and okay, yeah, we'll just leave you on the Hermes sandals, but I think everything else I'll just leave well enough alone there. We don't need the Lambent hat anymore, and okay, I think that's good. Although I should heal up a little bit there. There you go. Let's see, I thought I saw... Yep, we got a little... Norende progress here. Oh, nice. Plenty of ingredients for uh, mixing coming up here, but that's everything we can do here. So, where do we go now that we've gotten the water crystal all set? Oh, Lady Vestal, the oceans herald your return to us. I take it for a sign the water crystal, too, is returned to its pure state. What joy! And the Vestal of Water. Is she not with you as well? Oh, we didn't tell you, huh? <laughs> Olivia Oblige, Vestal of Water, has given her life in the service of the crystals. No, but that can't. I had thought, certainly, certainly the clearing waters were her doing. Lost to us. Gone from this world. What is Florum to do now? Well, you've got some chrysalists. You can start, you know, rebuilding. But, yeah, Agnes, we kind of have to uh, get it going. by your efforts, Florum is spared from the Blood Rose Legion's venom. I give you the thanks of all Florum's people in the Vestal of Water's stead. Oh, you're welcome. The nation will not return to its chaste and proper ways overnight. I'm certain. But once a new Vestal is chosen, the people's hearts will unite behind her. <sighs> what about you? Aren't you the leader of this place? Might I ask where your travels take you next, Lady Vestal? Why does the cutscene keep on fading out and back in for no apparent reason? I was told the Vestal of Fire is deceased. I must hurry to the fire crystal's side. Well, why not the earth crystal? I see. Then beyond the sea, to Eisenberg and the Temple of Fire. Oh, okay. If you follow the waters west of here, ever west, you will find it. First, cross the Miasma Woods, then to the shore of the Inner Sea. Okay, so that's... She's referring to the Florsheim Sea. I shall make a mark of it upon your map. The seas are only newly tamed, and the journey is long. I pray you will be safe. 
But yeah, now we can actually leave the sea because the ocean's not rotted anymore. Oh, more party chat! Uh, now that's just... tis. Oh, well, good! It's nice to see you have a mature attitude about all this. Oh, yeah. Oh, what did he say? Oh, um, yeah, yeah, of course. Well, isn't that what we're doing? We're disobeying the duchy and all that? Yeah, I mean, even Adia, I mean, she's starting to learn to think for herself and all that. So. Oh. Well, yeah, just what I was thinking. But, yeah. Okay, so let's get out of here. We gotta go back through the Miasma Woods, but we do have some tutorial quests to take care of on the way back there. Let's see, did I need to rest up at the end? Yes, I do. I used quite a bit of MP there. But otherwise, I think my setup is just fine for now. I will eventually create a more solid setup, but we're just fighting, you know, random enemies on the way back that are weaker than everything we've met up with recently. So I'm not extraordinarily worried about that. But all right, let's head to the Miasma Woods, then. Uh, what are the quests that I've got there, too? Let me see what we've got. Okay, so touch and go, revised commands, and then the two consecutive special moves. Okay, easy enough. Good thing I got all those ready to go, with the special moves, especially. Eventually, I will fast forward, but for now, let's just go at normal speed. Uh-oh. Ow. Okay, so let's see. Let's you touch go on the bottom screen there for the one tutorial quest to make everyone default to there. Okay, and then let's see. Oh, I forgot to give you thievery. Okay, I'll do that later. But let's see. We do have the two special moves that we could use. And... Okay, so let's have Tiz attack. Then we'll go... Let's use Piercing Ripple, or... Let me see. What about Piercing Bolts? Yeah, okay, let's use that on one of them. Have the other two default. Then, to do the tutorial quest for revising commands, press up from where the go button was, and then I'll use the special move on the other guy. Two consecutive special moves that'll also fulfill that other tutorial quest. No turning back. So basically, I think the game is just trying to teach you how to you end here. Uh, stack the buffs you get from one uh, from one special move to another. There, but okay, let's see. We got. That, yeah, we'll just go with that. That ought to be good enough. And I'm surprised that one move didn't finish them off. Okay, so we learned a new ability there, Prayer. What that does is it boosts the success rate of percent chance abilities. Let me see if I can't uh, bring that up here. Game? Okay. Yeah, so I don't know if that applies to the Steel Command. If you know anything about that, let me know. Sometimes it seems like it works, and other times, not so much. So, yeah, I don't know specifically. I do use it because I think it helps, but it's not like equip... I'm not as certain about that as I am about, like, the Thief Gloves being stacked on a Thief there, actually. 
Okay, so we got those three there, and this one, or these two, are designed to just basically teach you about... Uh, what is it? Using the Brave command and then an item to do something there. So, let's see. Agnes, do I have you? No, let's get you on uh, Black Magic there. And then we'll see how well that works. And then we'll just need one more battle, but this will be a quick trip all the way through the Miasma Woods here. Unfortunately, we can't just simply use teleport and then get to the other side of this place that way. But, okay, so, let's see. We got... Well, I need someone dead to use one of the... Uh, one of the... Or to do one of the tutorial quests. So, let's see. We need to use Brave. Actually, let's use a whole bunch of Brave commands. Then we'll use an Aether on yourself and then let's use a whole bunch of well let's use a fire spell on the enemy and then let's use them on Adia there to kill her off so that way I can do the other tutorial quest and okay yeah let's go like that that and then cast the spell. I think the idea of what they're trying to teach you is that if you ran out of MP, you could use an ether and then uh, cast the spell. Even though you don't have the MP to cast it at the beginning of the round, you'll still be able to select the spell you want to use anyway. And then Ring a Bell can finish this guy off easily enough. So let's go with that. And a good stomp there. Yeah, we don't need those guys multiplying on us. And let's see, that should have taken care of the last two of them. Okay, so let's see. We've got five more tutorial quests over the remainder of the game. We've basically been introduced to all of the mechanics at this point. Oh, I suppose I didn't quite go over it that clearly, but the tutorial quest, that I, the last one that I did there, was basically to brave, use a phoenix down, and a potion in the same round on someone, so they won't die immediately after being revived again. Now, one other thing that I want to do on the way back to the Echelot is I also want to go back to the Wind Shrine. If you recall, there's one of those owl demon dudes there that said we didn't have the qualifications. But now that we've gotten the summoner job class, we can talk to the guy and, well, I'll just tell you, he has a summon for us to learn now that we've done that. And well, now that we've got, what else do we need? Let's see, I know I've got a bait wind for Tiz there. I forget if I have like a wind charm. I think I do somewhere. Let's see. Yeah, we got one of those. So that can also help us out to learn that summon. But what do we find in the oceans of the world now that we've cleared them up? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Default. This is Ichi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.